sevens? What do you think? Would you gatekeep a no. bard? I have. Did you see my bard? <laughs> no, I have not. No. Horse doesn't have problem on the con, even if you run level sevens. That's great. Hello. That's good to know. Hello. I'm oh. running with level sevens and I don't have issues. That's awesome. Oh, uh, you're, you're a bard? I'm so. Yeah, I'm main bard. I'm nice. swiftness though. Mm -hmm, same. She builds endurance though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> only endurance. I'm selfish bard to heal myself. Yes. Mm. Dude, you know what I should do though? I would love to see now that I'm a higher level, like what my heals would be like with max endurance. Because they were bigger heals, it was just only for me. So I mm. wonder like, I wonder what the highest number is you could get. That's the ultimate chaos on your build right there. Yeah. It does kind of suck that endurance isn't used anywhere in the game. But it made sense when somebody told me, like, why would they have dead... If they didn't have dead stats, then there wouldn't be, like... There wouldn't be, like, jewelry that you would want type of thing, right? Like, there has to be bad stuff, because then you wouldn't have something else that you're going for, right? Like, it diverts the pool. or Does that make sense? Dilutes the pool? Wait, 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 wait. So, if I put endurance, I have more heals? For yourself. And your shields are bigger. Myself. I thought it used but, to do it for everyone, but it didn't work. Oh, the only that. thing which increases for everyone is spec. Okay, spec. Which is oh, shit. Cheating. What about swip? So I should have more. Oh, I understand what you mean. So as as I'm getting stronger, I should taper off swiftness and just have enough to maintain 100% uptime, but again, more specialization. Uh, yeah, basically. That's basically what I'm doing this whole time. If mm -hmm. legitimately, legitimately, if you have right, so here's here's how it works, right? If you have level 10 gems and 1800 mm -hmm. swiftness, right? Mm -hmm. Just hear, hear this out. And you and you have an 8 second damage buff, right? And your cooldowns are 4 seconds. That doesn't make any sense. That means that you have way more cooldown than you fundamentally need to keep 100% uptime. That's the point. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, regardless of mechanic or anything. Because then, there's, like I said, there's, there's nitpicking beyond this. But this is the baseline, right? Um, if you can... If, if the fight... The total fight time, right? is six minutes, 600 seconds, right? And you can maintain uh, every every eight seconds. You can Basically, that's actually the better way to say this. All you have to do is make sure that, like on the Paladin in specific, on the Bard, it's different because she has fucking longer cooldowns and I forget what the math is for her. Um, that's why it is harder for the Bard to keep, especially if you spec 100% of time. You need the tens. And that's- With Swiftness is easier because you just spam yourself. You still have to be careful to don't uh, cover two of your buffs because they're giving the same buff. But that's so a, what I'm, even with the bard, though. That's essentially the concept. Not to um, interrupt. I'm yeah. sorry, I did that. And, and no, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. I'm just saying back to like, that's the concept, though. Um, yeah. Tay Tay is that like if you can, even the bard has the opportunity to do it. If you can basically use one buff and you know that your other buff's coming up within that time of your cool, like. So eight second buff, you need your other buffs to, to be there in eight seconds. But if you use that second buff, you need the cooldown of that second buff to be short enough to where, or the first buff, basically the first buff has to be coming up. Does that make sense? But there's a way to figure out whether or not you have 100% yeah, uptime based mm -hmm. on the limit. Exactly. And then that's that's where the where the diminishing returns comes in, is if you can figure out what you need bare minimum, then you can start cutting corners and saying, okay, well, then I don't need level 10 gems or I don't need 1800 swiftness. At the very top, what they should be doing is cutting their swiftness because they're at level 10 gems. They should be cutting swiftness down to a point where where it's not needed, if that makes sense. Yeah, just a little bit more, like some kind of two-second margin in case stuff happens, but... Level no, eight it's, it's really not, dude. It was It was... It, in a six minute fight it was three minutes at least on the paladin you had three minutes of overkill three minutes of overkill that's a third of the fight that you had buff time that you didn't need and that's why i'm saying there was an equation that we came up with that was just easier to use to do this um and i have actually i have a spreadsheet with it and it basically it's just showing you the it's just showing you the dr on cooldown that's all it's doing genuinely mm -hmm. what do i do with this pet ranch Remember, with swiftness, you also get movement speed and everything, too. Um, mm -hmm. So do the quest. You have to do the quest. And then we're going to put your pets in it, because that's how you get your legendary pet, and you get, like, another buff. Here, actually, real quick, you know what? Um, I'll pull up. Let me pull up the spreadsheet. And just granted, I didn't make this. Like, somebody else made this. Um, and I don't really know how to use it anymore. <laughs> but it still works. 
Because I don't think I've ever showed you this. Like, I used to show this to people all the time, and then I kind of just stopped. Because you look stupid when you don't know how to use something that you know, or that you own. Oh, put it wrong one. Hello. Hello. What's up, Gary? What's going on, man? All right, so check this out. Um, this is doing a lot. I'm asking my computer to do a lot of shit. <laughs> Can you see what I'm showing? Oh, okay. I'm watching stream one second. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Reggie, no, I'm, this was a lot back in the day. Like we did a ton of stuff, but then we just stopped. And it was supposed to tell you how to play the game. Like that was going to be the cooler part, where the, like you'd be able to like figure out your rest and figure out where you could have like short, like base, like literally like your resources. Like it was. Ah, oh, there's so much planned. He did this yeah. all in like two seconds. It took me what? forever to break it. <laughs> but. This is cool. I miss doing this stuff. Like, this was the fun part of the game for me because we were able to break down what we needed to do. That was the mm -hmm. honor shard thing that we were talking about the other day. Before we got a con and, like... Is that what it was? All added up was 2.3 million shards after 40 weeks of farming. Um, so, actually, I was wrong. It's 40 weeks for 2.3 mil. So, I told somebody some completely busted numbers the other day. That's okay. <laughs> but this uh, is the one that we want to talk about. Um, that's 40 weeks? That's, like... Year, wait, years, years. Wait, and that's not even that bad. That's not if you do all of these things. That's crazy. And that's not even that bad though, because there, there's we're we're better now. Like a con gave the dude forty thousand or something like that for the clear. I was like, that's crazy. Like these mm -hmm. did not give that much. That's all I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. um, even bro was only three hundred eighty-eight k. Like it's not. Yeah, who's the individual that doesn't only does raiding? Oh, or Zena. 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 Oh, nice. Uh, but I mean, you do get enough event mats. So we never factored in event mats, and all the extra mm -hmm. shit. Because uh, how the hell are you going to do that? Um, no idea. But so the gem thing, all right, I don't remember 100% how to use this, but like, let's say you have 1800 swiftness. And then the ability, I, I forget what wraps or what. Um, can you give me a bard cooldown? A baseline, though. It has to be a baseline cooldown. So yeah, not okay. what yours is, but what it is. Uh. Let's see, um, heavily tune. That's a big one, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's like 30 seconds or something. The baseline's the longest number. It'll be the largest yeah. number because it's before you applied anything. I cannot read. I don't know how to read this. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Can you do... Uh, you don't have a... The longest what? cooldown is a heavily tune, usually. Mm -hmm. What's the time before anything's applied? Like, what's it say uh, on the ability? It'll 30... It is 30 seconds, that's rough. So the the bard actually really is going to need the gems. So um, I forget, I kind of... So just assuming it's 600 seconds of a fight. Um, so the way we did it was this, right, originally. And what we tried to figure out is basically how many skills in a fight you would get and like what, what were the points that it would be efficient to stop, right? We So when we first designed this, this wasn't even designed necessarily to prove what it ended up eventually proving, which is that you get wicked diminishing return. What we designed it for was to say, like, kind of that concept other people had where it was like, how much should I spend? What's my next progression, and is it worth it? Like, do I even get a whole other skill in the fight? Like, would I? is it worth it for me to go for sevens for gems if I'm not even going to get another ability off in a fight, or I'm only going to get one or two more but Like, does it matter? Do you know what I mean? That concept. Like, we were trying to find that little line, and what we ended up figuring out was that Essentially, when you get to this point, you won't even, because of buff up time, which isn't included in this, right? So we're not pretending that you're cycling between two buffs, we're pretending that you're only using one buff, right? And what we're not including here is that every time one of these is used, it's actually an eight second cooldown, right? So you have to, I think, maybe divide it by eight. I actually don't know how to do this, but we, at some point this was done. Um, but basically what I'm trying to, you, you get it. It's, it's overkill, essentially. Like, you're going to see that you don't need 48 cast in a fight or actually that's a good way to look at it so it's like 40 uh fuck me man i think i kind of remember this like i type up here or something like that it was like 48 times and i have to use can i use this um what 
times eight because it's an eight second buff right from the thing or no i'm sorry actually it was this um oh but it didn't work it didn't give me like the maybe it was equals yeah it was equal sum yeah it was equal sum okay sorry i'm trying to remember stuff that i just don't really remember <laughs> um can I use the regular X though? Or no, I probably have to use this, right? Yeah. Um, 48 times 8, eight seconds. Right, see? So, so 384, um, right? Is that correct? I hope so. So 8 times 384. So you're actually covering 384 seconds with just one buff at that point. So see, the Bard actually kind of does need it. I'm not going to lie. That's actually crazy. And then you would basically have, um, so, or, wait, is that right? Yeah, because it would be 384 seconds worth of buff time. And then you would multiply it by two, because you have two buffs, right? And But now the other buff, I think, actually has the shorter cooldown, right? What is the other buff's cooldown? I don't know if that makes sense. But, uh, Bell, do you know the other one, Sonic Vibration? What's the cooldown on that one? That one is having 24 seconds. 24. Yeah. So then you do the same thing. And this is basically how you figure out like your 100% uptime. And this doesn't apply to branding, but can I be honest? All the branding skills, if you have even a little bit of swiftness, can pretty much maintain uptime. Um, so we'll do the same thing here. I guess we'll just do it here. And then let's see if I can remember that faster this time. <laughs> um, 60. And I, it's not an eight second buff though, right? Like how long is that buff for? It's not on the ground for eight seconds, I don't think. Like six seconds maybe? No, it's uh, three seconds. Three seconds? Dude, the bard's, three or yeah, four, that's rough. Like that because it's like three or four poses. So that's worse. So actually, yeah, the bard, the, the bard does kind of need the swift build to maintain 100% uptime. So it's really probably all about the bard's branding more, but that's brutal, dude. That's actually really brutal. The bard got it rough because that's with the swift. That's with the swift. Imagine you put zero because or five hundred, six hundred because you're, whatever, right? Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah. That's why we carry multiple markings. Just to maintain that ten percent. Well, I guess we also make up for it with the bigger buff. Is like the goal. Because if they gave us the same uptime as the other two supports, then it would be unfair with the spec build, right? Because then we'd just be giving way too much more damage. But the um, interesting. This is very interesting. So do you actually run Rhapsody of Light? Yeah, I do. And then I run oh. it with the the note on it actually. Because yeah. you you swap out a, uh, a knockdown mm -hmm. immunity and that I just don't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> or eat the hit. Like it's it's okay to eat a hit too sometimes. So especially when you're a support. Um, that's scary, though. Like, actually doing that math out is kind of terrifying for the Bard. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of why it's important for Harp to hit Conviction and Judgment. Harp, you say? No, I mean, that's why it's uh, important for her to do her Conviction and Judgment uh, combo. You know, I what, had a what question you... recently that was relevant okay. to this. This Sorry. part is um, Bart doesn't really have a static build, and usually for any raid you have to swap shit around. Mainly because of her lack of stagger at certain points. Yeah, I, I do run more stagger when I do clown. Another thing which I recently find out about the Bard Stagger is usually every class have uh, a tripod for extra stagger. Um, the tripod and the skill where they had put it is uh, Rhythm of Buckshot or something like that, which is her counter. Yeah, it's pretty and good for stagger. It is, but the casting speed of this thing, I will cast it tomorrow. Even no, what? That's I, something's wrong there. Buck speed's fast. It's actually, in my opinion, if a better counter. If you put agility cast with the overwhelm, yes. And that's level ten. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 
Because and there is a tripod for extra stagger from uh, low to go to mid or something like that. But that's Just that's not a bad that. thing, right? Yeah, but some stagger checks are tight, and the casting speed of this thing is not really not nice. very that fast. Yeah, interesting. And I prefer to put overwhelm on my sound shock, which is a multi hit. If you run VP, that's not an issue. Just saying, sonic vibration and sound hawk is uh, enough. Also, you should consider swapping out the sound of hollow tripod instead. That's what I do when I want more stagger. I do that. Um, the meter gain one for the other one. So then you should be fine. Easy peasy. You tell your teammates they're not holding up their end. That's what I would say. Because <laughs> I don't run rhythm buckshot. Although I do think support should kind of run two counters, but I don't. I don't run it. But it is fast. I can't believe that. Only when you... Why would you do that? Why would you even use the stagger? I gotta go look at that now, like, just because you said that. You guys are talking about supports. We could talk about damage if we want to. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Bard. Bard OP. Mm -hmm. Bard OP. I like all of them, though. You should go collect all those mystery marks. I want them to release another support. I would love that too. Just so I can make a DPS with the pass. <laughs> so you're, you're not even gonna make a support? You're uh, I mean, I have a, I have an artist. No, that's a. No, I mean like with the the, the joke. That was a joke, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah like if the support, support comes yeah. out with the pass, I'm just making a DPS. Yeah. It's not even a joke. Like, yeah. It's, it was funny. I thought it was funny. All right, so the one you're talking about is concentration. You said, yeah, stagger level to mid. That's not even worth it. You're going from stagger level to what? It's from low to mid. That's not worth it. Oh, it's not. I just recently find it mainly because I sell in my seminar and paladin and certain classes who just has the option to swap to something like that. Okay. I think for a counter, it's really good, though. For counter, yeah. It was quick. And it has melody increase. I didn't even notice that. Interesting. I might swap that in somehow. I'd love to play with something yeah. like that. If you know there is a bunch of counters, you can. I stop running Rhapsody sometimes in the con. Mainly because it, there is the situation is either you're alive or you're one shotted by something, so I cannot save you. Which region do you play, though? Sorry, EU East. Oh, I'm sorry, NA East? NA East. That's cool. East is the beast. <clears throat> uh, uh, best server. Hands down. Honestly, eventually, uh, eventually, I think it won't be an issue. I think eventually they'll find a way to make everybody be able to play together. Mm -hmm. They have to. Mm -hmm. it just, it's Only thing is that um, a lot of Australians play in uh, NA West. That makes sense. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually really unfortunate. Yeah. They should move. No, I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> move <kidding>. houses. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't be playing here, but... Um, well, no, but think about what their region would be like. Like, come on, that's... I mean, actually, you're kind of right. Like, why wouldn't they just go to the Korean version? That's what I would have done. Because the Korean version probably is Language just... Language barrier? To... Like, big reason. language barrier? Yeah, that's a good one. Because that's true, we see people who speak English as content like, creators, yeah. but they're probably the few and far between. Yeah. Although a lot of uh, Asian culture does teach their kids to speak English, to be fair. In a lot of ways, they're much more educated than we are. <laughs> that's what happens when you go to school 12 hours a day. <laughs> You're gonna learn, and you're gonna learn today. 
brutal. I'd actually love to know, like, how long Koreans do go to school if they do go to school during the day, which obviously they do, but, like, is it, like, uh, some of the other Asian cultures? Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's more like parental influence and influence. Uh, extracurricular activities like math olympiads and stuff like that, you know, just getting the brain fired up. Like in Korea? Oh, there's any other, like, depends on upbringing, to be honest with you. That's fair as well. I want to homeschool my kids. I don't really, I mean, to a degree, I want them to also go to school, but maybe for the first, like, their elementary years, I'll homeschool them. Give them good morals and values, teach them how to think for themselves, and then they can go to school. And then they can go deal with the outside world. Um, I mean, I wish I was at homeschool. You wish you weren't, or was? I was. So you wanted to be. That's cool. Yeah, I would have liked to be homeschooled too, but I wouldn't have done any of my homework. Straight up, because I did all my homework in class. Would, uh, after the whole issues what they've dealt the last year before my graduation there, uh, I prefer to was uh, homeschool. That's fair. Because uh, my teachers were dumber than me, but... Really? Yeah. That sucks, yeah. Um, Bad teachers can not, ruin their experience. Not only that, the other problem is they did not have like human point or something like that because I got Wait, what? sick. What? Yeah, because I got sick on my last year before I graduate. And they had eye problems, I had ear problems, bunch of infections, I wasn't able to see, neither hear. And they wanted to put me on exams because of that. What's that mean? There was, uh, basically, the whole year, whatever we had learned, which I cannot learn because I cannot read and see shit. Um, basically, everything to be on one paper and me to take a whole year exam. For me, missing for probably like one month. I mean, that's not bad. That's a good option, though. But you couldn't. They can't give you a time extension to do that, or like, do you know what I mean? Like that kind of sucks. No, they cannot give me time extension. Only because you were sick. Like if yep. you weren't sick, I wouldn't say give the time extension. But I yep. get it. Like the lack of humanity. It's either now or you don't get your diploma, Diane. That's wait. Kind where of did you have your only education? Yeah. Like in the States, sir? Uh, it's just my high school. Oh. Diploma, basically. In the United States or like elsewhere? No, I'm from Europe. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, cause like what you were asking, I was gonna say like, it does feel like, I hope, but I actually, I had crap school experience at certain schools too, right? Not all schools, but certain schools. So I will say that like, I was going to say, it does feel like that's wrong. Like, it feel, I feel like if you were sick, they should have made an exception. Especially depending on, like, if, what if you were in a coma? Like, you're not allowed. To, you know, that's an interesting one. If I'm in a coma for 30 or 40 years, and I didn't technically drop out of school or fail, do they have to let me finish? <laughs> um, that's, like, an option. But, I mean, I feel like the government steps in at that point. And says this kid deserves just a free diploma, or... <laughs> take the free to pull. Like I mean, I mean, if you if you had like no chance to do anything in life because you were literally in a coma, then yeah, I think a GED situation kind of thing. That's not fair. Not that a GED is like less than. I'm not even saying that, but like it does feel. It's not less than, but like we kind of have to own that getting the diploma is more than, right? Do you know what I mean? It's not that it's less of an education, but the person who actually went through all their years of school, I don't know. Because mm -hmm. then why wouldn't everybody just drop out? Why not just um, drop out and get and pass her earlier? That's the more logical option. Like, I'm almost inclined to tell my kids, like, drop out at 16, you can go straight to work. <laughs> you can drop out at 16 and go straight to school. Like, because you can get into college. Oh, wait, I guess college, kind of. But no, if you're willing to pay for it, college is always on the table. That's the thing. You can be a fucking idiot. College is going to take your money. As long as you have decent scores. No, so, if they're accredited, you need at least a GED. They, I, I missed that. So, GED is good. 
the, the, if I think at any accredited institution, they would they need you to have a high school diploma or a GED. Wow, or or a GED. That's my point. So why wouldn't you just drop out at sixteen, get a GED, go to school two years earlier? I, I think uh, that's my point. It doesn't make any oh. sense. If if you have the money, obviously there's scholarships and grants. If you're somebody who has to literally earn your way through college, and not saying that the other person doesn't, because they still have to obviously learn and educate. But if you're somebody who's like literally like everything you do in high school is the reason you're even getting into a school, right? With debt and that whole nine yards, then how come? Why not just drop out at 16? Um, or I'm sorry, the opposite. If you're somebody who just you're gonna pay for it anyways, you don't need the scholarships, you don't need the grants, you don't need help, then why not just drop out at 16? Like the wealthier person's option, or like not wealthier, but the person who has that ability to do it, it's just smarter to do it. At 16, you'd be in college, and at 16, you'd already be working on your eight-year degree if you're getting an eight-year, right? Like whatever you're getting, you'd already be working on. I can't go back and do it, obviously, but the I'm, I'm interesting. Like my kids might be dropouts. <laughs> Straight up, my kids might be dropouts because it doesn't even make sense in some ways. Hmm. I think the age difference and on being put into a college environment and such a young age is kind of difficult i'm wondering what those like little savants that are like nine years old finishing you know harvard or something stupid like that i'm sure they have a hard time and they're super sheltered and all that stuff uh immature in some ways easily oh yeah yeah no 100 percent. you ever seen sheldon i love that show um that's kind of how he is um but i'm not even talking savants like i just think like you're wasting two years or your last two years like that doesn't it, it just seems like a waste if you have, if for some, again, not for somebody who has to earn it, but even for somebody who has to kind of earn it, like, what if you could make that amount of money just by working, like, 80 hours a week for two years and then just pay for it the next year? Like, see where I'm going with this? Like, it's, this is weird. It's weird because I've never had to really think about it like this before. And now I'm having to think about it and I'm just f fundamentally finding flaws with the logic. Like, I don't know why... It's almost like it's encouraged. Like, get out two years earlier and go start building your life. It's weird, right? Like, it's almost encouraged by the system. Like, why would you... Why would I do two more years of this when I can go start what I'm going to be starting anyways? Yeah, I mean, but sadly, here you cannot really drop out. You can drop out to start working if your parents basically allow you. But for you to continue for... Like I didn't drop out, for the record. I went. I just want to make that clear now. I actually did my schooling. I just did... That's something that's right now just being discovered. I'm just confusing me. I'm like, why would you do that and i and um i don't think you can drop out in the united states either without parental consent uh bill i think also in, in the u.s you have to have it unless you're like a orphan kid or something i'm not sure how that works i think the state would decide probably um, to add to your mm. point not to like show that i didn't listen but i did listen um yeah but if you want to go to college and stuff like that Sadly, here you have to get your diploma, you have to get your exams, and you have to put extra exams if the certain subject you want to enter in has something which is off your subject, off your school. Also, you're kind of gambling on whether or not you could finish that like eight year program or college itself. Pretty much, yeah. Because uh, a lot of like jobs where you apply to, uh, like work it tells you like what's your highest education like high school True. diploma or GED so. but it's supposed to be equivalent that's what I'm saying it's supposed to be equivalent that's the that's the fucking argument like that's the point like if it's equivalent it's not one takes you two years less that's literally the base. What do you mean by equivalent? Um, it's a general education equivalency, right? Or some stupid shit like that. Like, all I'm saying yeah. is everybody always says, oh, GED or high school diploma nowadays. It's equivalent. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's equivalent, if they're the fucking same, then the one that took you two years less is actually the better option. If you could get your four-year degree in two years, why wouldn't you do it? I'm telling if you, you, you could, could complete your four-year high school degree in two years. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, come on. Like, that. I, maybe it's just me, but to me, it really does just stand out like a sore thumb. It's like, how does that make sense? Who came up with the system? So, and the reason I'm saying it is because I, I I backpedaled earlier, right? And I didn't want to say something in a mean way. And so, what did I do? I said not that it's not equivalent, because I didn't want to make anybody who had a GED not feel accepted, because it is equivalent, right? But the reality of is what it made me realize was that actually it should be considered beneath the diploma. Otherwise, there's no incentive to go get your diploma. Come on. 
Is that just, am I the only one that gets that? Like that, to me, that is so pure logic. Like it just, why the fuck did I waste two more years of my life with people that I didn't, I don't even still talk to. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I don't think about the social aspect. No, not even just the social aspect, but my teachers, everything. What, what did you get out of that last two years of your life? The glory days. That's it. That's all I remember was hanging out with people, having a good time. If you were on the path to progress, that's all I'm saying. Like, I, and it's screw the path, it's screw the path to progress because this isn't a game, right? The point, uh, the point is, is just that still, I'm gonna still keep riding that same concept. You did two years of something that you didn't have to do for the same degree. I'm basically saying that they have to, they have to tell people who get their GED like this is a lesser degree in some way. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that like, because otherwise, then what, what did you give the person who got their diploma? Like, what they didn't get anything for it. For me, the last year wasn't only um, the diploma, a diploma, whatever how it's called, so basically finishing education. Yeah, you, you the last two years you get that diploma. Yeah, but my school was uh, economic school, so you're getting a certificate for being um, economics or something like that. So. That's why they wanted us most likely to finish it and have to take basically three different exams. So the two of the exams are for diploma, for the, the last one is for that certificate. So yeah. Could you, can I ask a question? Because I kept mentioning something like the GED in the United States. Do you have something like that in Europe? Do you have something where if the person drops out of school, they can get a piece of paper that's equivalent? Or maybe it's more than, it's a degree in a sense, right? But can you get, a, can they get a piece of paper that is equivalent to, to a diploma over there for like job purposes, college application purposes? I'm sure it's for country college, by country. no. True, for, well, that's why I'm asking. For, um, uh, we have something similar, but for college, no, only for working. Interesting. And, Could you explain okay. it to to us? Uh, Just so you can drop science ten grade, which I think it's sixteen or seventeen, only by the permission of your parent. You can work again only by permission of your parent. And usually you can finish till that uh, school education for twelfth grade, which is for the diploma, if you choose to afterwards. But you're gonna be uh, a night school, which means you're gonna be like home learner or something like that, and you're gonna do only exams. But you can work with the document which you had chosen to drop from 10th grade, but it's only working. You cannot go for college if you don't really pay a huge sum for it. Which country is that in? I'm sorry, if I'm too interpersonal, you don't have to answer that. Answer it all. Uh, answer. <laughs> it's Bulgaria. Not What's the up? best country. Bulgaria. It's not the worst country. Bulgaria, that's fine. It's it's terrible. terrible. What a horrible country. You should be so ashamed. What are you talking about? I, I was born in Romania. No, I mean, I'm also it, teasing her. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not a great country. It, it has a lot of shit to work on. So does America. Well, it's kind of a and a lot of thing. sunflower seeds. When I traveled through Bulgaria to get to Greece by train, all I saw was sunflower fields. Yeah, we have beautiful stuff, beautiful nature, and that's about it. Good history, but the rest is the rest is dead. Wait, that sounds like a nice place to move. Mm, huh. <laughs> Economically viable. <laughs> well, I have cheap? to, man. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, it is. And it's the Black Sea. You can have a little resort town. If you're from another country and you move here, it's gonna be cheap. But if you live here, for you, it's never cheap. Yep. You know, it's Especially weird. Especially after there was COVID, this movie. Here, it's even worse. <clears throat> there was this movie that came out with Justin Timberlake all about time, right? And like they have to earn time to spend to get to different places and stuff like that. In a weird way, that's kind of what that sounded like. Like, mm -hmm. she can't fundamentally break out of where she's at to come here as easily as if I wanted to break out of where I'm at to go where she is, I can. 
Like, because it's good, it's cheaper cost of living over there, to, this is crazy, right? Especially with flight prices. I can make more money here, right? Do more with the money that I have here. And I'm not saying that's true. Maybe Bulgaria and America is close in economic, but you're basically telling me it's cheaper to live there. I could do mm -hmm. really well here and buy a house there and have a life there and enjoy a life there, but she can't do the same here. Mm -hmm. It's like that movie Time in a weird way. Like, because that's kind of what they could do. They, they had to earn, like, enough time to get into the next region um, or the next location or the next... Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. If you haven't seen time the zone. movie, it's hard to... <laughs> they say time zone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's hilarious, actually. Yeah. Yeah, then the next time zone. Um, that's just crazy. I never really saw it like that. It's, it's really funny. You really have a European following. I have no idea why. <laughs> isn't it funny yes you do i don't know that's crazy old values <laughs> Not if I can. Mm. old values i don't know maybe just europeans did their homework i was like <laughs> no not that i really believe this shit <laughs> i know but maybe just the algorithm just whatever they're interested in oh yeah. oh. oh thanks <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Americans don't like me fundamentally because we're all elitist. Whereas, like, somebody who's willing to listen to me and take the time to listen to me sees that I'm not, like, I'm not, like, that wrong. Like, a lot of the shit that I say. Well, oh, no, I just do my research. I literally am hitting both sides of the coin. Oh, like, okay. I have... I get it. I, so I, I have no. I'm not even that important. You're. you're, you're yeah. Oh no. You just watch everybody. I, I'm a diluted piece of crap. No, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I just went down the rabbit hole. You know, that's like yeah. whatever content it is. I'm trying to find small and big. Like, same thing in the way I get my media too. So. Like, that's fair. everything. The media yeah. concept's actually important, especially considering the conversation yesterday. Oh no. <laughs> uh, we're ending it here. <laughs> we're ending it here. Oh, but. Uh, yeah. About bards. Who wants to? Yeah, definitely want to have like a bard uh, learning session, mentorship. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I'm still trying to learn it. What, with like uh, us now? Anybody. Oh, not right now. Whenever you guys have the time or inclination. I'm just doing Chaos Dungeons because I can't do a cons. I'm smoked. Mm. You can't do a cons? Why? Um, there's not really any groups for BPS. They were all, um, supports. I'm not somebody that'll sit there and keep looking at a page. So, I'm just, fuck it, I'll go do Chaos Dungeons on an alt. Do you know what I mean? I'll come back to it in a little yeah, it's, bit. It's daily day for me. Daily day. Okay, that's good to know. Yep, yep. You follow one of the, uh, methods where, like, I know there's a couple of people, there's a lot of people, right? Where you do, like, one, uh, skip a couple days, build some rest, do some this uh go back right that kind of concept maybe i'm butchering that but like you do uh no i do all my characters like they get like two bars in chaos three bars in like unas and then just run them all they run them all okay so like every couple of days then yeah every that's every three days that i it's daily day for all my characters and then raids in between right just whenever you can fight yeah them. yeah so what I do love about this game is that it's based on like your ability to do things like your playtime like when you can put time where so it's fun because it, it allows for those different play styles like it allows for that concept that even be a con like like if you can only yeah. play the weekends because of work then you have to play around that right um, and then the more complicated your schedule the more you have to play around it it's fun it's also really kind of I think what people hate about the game actually <laughs> now that I think about it how do you remove I, I, See, that's the thing. I, you know, what if they did it different, right? Like, what if a raid wasn't something you had to do, but something you could do, right? Like, and not, not, let's say it this way, not, um, instead of you can only get, like, you, you can only do the raid once a week, you can only get, like, reward once a week, so why would you do it more than that kind of thing? But I don't mean it like that, I mean, like, how do I want to say it, like, what if, like, on... Uh, no, because that's not true. Because on RuneScape, you can just keep farming. That's the whole point. That's why the economy is different. But the... I'm trying to say, like... What if you could only claim one soul a week, but it's the same thing that they're already allowing you to do, which just makes the problem, like, in the mind. But it's... I, think I mean, it's also that you have to go through the Koreans as well. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, right now, it's food for fucking thought. 
<laughs> that's fucking yeah. um i don't imagine it ever to actually reach anybody um that can make a difference and if it does it'll by the time they get it the game will probably be long and gone <laughs> i don't know maybe we'll see we'll see i just don't understand people that like do dailies every day like a whole like six twelve roster um i mean there's a lot of value in it i still i do rest so there I'm, is I'm a lot you. of value but I'm it's also you. like a lot of time it's a lot yeah exactly yeah i agree um because i do the rest aspect because of that but i do like i can't say that the people who do all right so like example if you wanted we talked about this if you want to get your character up um if you want to get your character up you have uh that 1620 character that you're doing right like you have you need to be oh, playing man. that character unrested actually now that we're having this conversation that character should be unrested because the, you think that third is like big difference in this situation yeah yeah your your specific situation yeah yeah oh, actually, that situation. one that yeah. one character should be played kind of regularly yeah i i'm not even kidding i'm really not I'm not because it's not a third. As a matter of fact, it's it's 33% of the time for uh, for 66% of the resources. So it's it's more like a little bit more than a third. It's 40%. It's I'm you you do whatever you want. I would never force you to do anything. But believe it or not, keeping that one character unrested won't kill you. It won't. It's literally six minutes of your time to ten minutes, depending on how good your build is. Like I really believe, I really believe in what I'm telling you right now. In addition to everything we talked about. Unrested. On um, that character. Or just that, that character. character. Just, yeah. Just that or character. Like, or like, basically like, do it. Keep the bar day. low. At least keep the bar fucking low. Yeah, yeah. Keep it low. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely don't let it build. But just for, keep in mind something. Every day, if you're not doing it unrested, then you're automatically already losing that 40% though. And every time you go... So this is something... If you never go... If you never go below, how do I say this? If you get to the end of the week and then you have that last day bar and you build that last bar of rest and then the day after that, that's officially where you've lost 40%. Anything before that isn't a 40% loss, but the second that you have a rested piece of content, you are entering into that percent pool loss. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like if you're playing every two days, you're actually only losing two days. So you're losing like 80% of a total of uh seven days which would be um 700 so you're losing 80 on 700 so it's actually you're still at 620 percent um efficiency does that make sense so you're not even losing 40 percent i don't mm -hmm. know if that i don't know if that can, uh, if that checks like that might not check that might that might be wrong because i'm doing that in my head right give me a break there but like but the, does that the log does the logic make sense kind of yeah but you are losing the second that you do it. Like, the literal second that you're not doing something unrested, you're losing, officially. Yeah, but... At least I'm not getting burned out. Yeah, no, but that's why I'm saying only do it on one character. Yeah. Do it, because you, your specific goals, I don't say that to anyone else, but you're <laughs> trying to go, you're, you're shard short. And so is, um... Or wait, was it you that was shard short or feel sad? It might have been feel sad that was shard short on that character. You were leapstone short on your sixteen hundred to sixteen twenty, right? To go to sixteen twenty? Yeah. Was it shard uh, short? Uh. I think it was gold. Was it just gold? Oh wait. It might have just been gold. That's fair. Uh, because I am getting my sword to fifteen eighty, so I'm gonna have five fifteen eighties. Um. And then that's all gonna be funneling my sixteen hundred, and then I guess do sixteen hundred unrested, yeah worth it i know it doesn't seem worth it but it'll pay off um again it might have been feel sad that was short the honor shards but he was just short but no even you like it really is you should it is a lot of shards and and i think i have like 1.3 1. 1.4 1. and not just that but uh, the, the imagine so you needed seven thousand of those radiants right yeah I'll food for thought there. right if if a hundred percent of your resources you can gain from doing it is only 2,000 stones, then that third that you're losing, if it is a third, right? We could do the actual math. I just don't know how to do it. Um, but if it is actually a third of the resources that you're losing, you're saying you could have got another 1,000 stones and you don't want to. Right? I thought, okay, 1,000 stones, but 
That's if I do it every day. No, but only that character. So then you just backseat yeah. another character. That's kind of the point. Like, so then you do only rest it on another character. Like, so it's like shifting your focus. So yeah, you're gonna do him every day, but then that means maybe you just don't do a character somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Or you do them with mm. longer bars of rested built up. No, I only for chaos. I if it gets two bars, I run it. You run it. That's fair. That's actually really efficient. Yeah, all the time. I never miss out on that. And honestly, really like, actually, I hate to say it. The thing I was trying to say earlier is you. You are still kind of losing. I think you're still in that ratio. I think it's still sixty percent. I think that might be BPS because, thinking about it, that's the whole point. You skip two days. You've missed two hundred percent. And you're gaining 120, so you're gaining 80, so it is still 40% loss. Yeah, so actually every bar of rest you build is 40% loss. So scratch everything that I said earlier. Um, it's still 40% loss, every bar of rest. So that on that main character, I would yeah definitely recommend doing it just to gain that 40% more resources for the little bit of time that you put into it every day. It's only one character. It's only one character. That's it. If you can't do it, then you can't do it, but... But I think you can. So what are we doing, Soggy Cracks? Oh. Uh, I was organizing my inventory. And then I um, did all those, like, orange quests for my island and got that done. Did you really? Oh, I need to... Yeah, I finished all of them. I need to do... Um, oh, I guess I should go to the stronghold and we'll do the pet thing. Yes. Yeah, so you can start getting your legendary pet stuff. We gotta try to get you through some of the raids too, even if we do actually just have you pay for buses, because um, even if you do end up paying for buses, buses, whatever, we'll get you your sets. Shouldn't have to, but. Why is Hot Dad like a, a new player? Mm -hmm. Like new as new. This is day five. Play. Yeah, this is day five of playing. Oh, so shit. we're going through the UI as the first boss, the f <laughs> the first raid boss has been the UI. I'll got you into the game if you don't want me asking. Um, I don't know. I was just bored and wanted to play it. So you've known about the game already? Well, yeah, I played it a long time ago when it like I like, played like the like beta testing and then the release and then just stopped playing. Just because my friends that were playing stopped playing, so I was like, yeah, like I'll play other games. Smooch. Absolute smooch. <laughs> I saw the video where you were like. Was it a video or was it like in the in the PC where you were recommending someone to make like six or eight Steam accounts and then you were like, no, never mind, don't do that eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you, sometimes <laughs> you make mistakes and then you're thinking about something and you're like, wait, that's like a lot. Like, Yeah. So wait, what do I do? That's why I was saying to him earlier, right? Like, um, go to the pet right there to dispatch. I was saying to him earlier. I was like, just keep in mind, I'm like, I'm coming up with all this on the fly. I'm just, I remember what I don't want you to do, right? Like, that's fucking, um. I was like, that's insane. <laughs> what, to backpedal on the advice or, oh. No, 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 to uh, have like to all the advice. someone, yeah. It, well, I mean, uh, like, it, it, can I say it something? He, he's it still doing it. He's still doing really? it. Really? It's just the difference. Does he even know he's getting into it? No, 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 but the difference is instead of having it, we came up with a better plan. And actually, it's something I should do. Pally's, right? No, no, not just that. Listen, yes, yes, supports, right? But I should do this. Every one of us could do this right now. On the jump starts that are going to get merged, you could go make a bunch of paladins, go support a bunch of things, get a bunch of free gold that you don't even care about because you got 1540 for free, basically. Get a bunch of gold that you didn't even care about and just keep hoarding it for the next couple of months and then send it to your main. Like, yeah, that's what I'm doing um, for, on the jump start. For any of us, I'm not doing that, but for, for any of us, it is still an option. So what I'm basically having him do now is he's going to keep that main roster, the rainbow roster, because if, if you remember the video, that was the main dilemma, was that he wants to go for a bunch of different types of characters, which for a new player is yeah, 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 fucking yeah. hard. So instead of having him make six different car accounts where he's going to, he's basically going to focus those. Wait, am I going for a lot of different characters? No, 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 no. No, you're okay where you are. I was like, I was uh, you like, can if you want to eventually. Um, no, no. But we already kind of set up something else. So if yeah, you do that yeah. now, that's well, fundamentally. Not me or not. Yeah. <laughs> but the other, the other player, um, basically now what he's doing is he's got one main roster, which is going to be all sharpshooters, and he's going to use the side accounts to funnel that account on the jumpstart. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So we just refine the plan. 
but to be fair, like, again, I came up with that on the fly. I was, like, thinking of things like, what can we give to you, like, now that would help your progress? It's mm-hmm. easier to actually do plans with guys like you who your account's already established because the, it's usually just, like, where to put your materials, and it's just basic budgeting. Like, that's all I'm actually helping the top-end players do is figure out how to spend what they have. Especially, like, in your case, you just had a lot of stuff saved up, and you needed to just use it, really. That's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you guys' advice is just a lot easier because you already kind of know how to play the game. Um, so actually, usually it's just hesitation. That's the funny part. Like you could have came up with everything that we talked about yourself, you just didn't. That's it. It's yeah, because uh, I, I, I just didn't want to like be set back. Um, well, in a sense, by selling those stones, I think we did set you back, but like a week or two. So you won't <laughs> have that fifteen. Uh, you won't have your next fifteen eighty for a week of bound material farming. We might have been able to uh, actually do both of them in one day, but that's yeah, way I mean, better. I have like that's right way better than the bar we set. So. Yeah, right now I have like 170k gold. So this upcoming reset, I'll have enough gold to hone the character, but I don't know if I'll have like the uh, the materials for it. No, probably not. But that's okay. Yeah. If we're lucky, prices will go down, and you'll make a made a profit this week, right? Um, and if we're not lucky, there's actually ways around that to mitigate that. Go look at the. Um, actually, put. Uh, let me help him first. So uh, this is yeah, where yeah. you recharge them. The ranch is where they recharge if they have no energy. You want to put them in the cookie workshop. So you're going to get them running on treadmills so they can earn you some cookies. Nice. Does it matter which one I put on here? No, nah, they're all the same. I mean, pick two that you want to level up first. So which which pet do you like the most that you want to carry with you through thick and thin? Because that's the pet. Wait, he has Top hat pet. Makoko. The top hat Makoko. All right, let's do it. And the otter. The Oblivious Otter and the Top Hat Makoko. Oh my god, do I love you right now. That's like the perfect combo. Oscar. Oscar, what an adorable name. Oscar. Wait, he has the uh, the Founder's pet. I know. Isn't that crazy? He even has the um, Founder train. I don't know how he got it. Wait, you said you started playing the game and it first came out, right? The yeah. beta. He said beta, yeah. Yeah, So he and he was probably a whale back then because he's a whale now. So I'm going to assume he probably bought everything. Wait, you have a Cerberus then somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. I have I have two of them. I have one unopened and I have one like Ooh. Unopened. Okay, well I would open both of them, but Wait, that's just me. Cell angle? Oh true, he's kinda right. But he's a whale. Like whales don't have to sell oh, he's stuff a whale? like that. They can uh -huh. keep stuff like that. But he's not Wait. wrong. That is a cell angle. That's not that's a ma how much do you care about forward progression? Like is one Cerberus okay with you and you he's right, you could sell the other What's one. What's the like, benefit of two? nothing literally other than you like it that's why i'm asking what kind of whale are you right now do you give a fuck or is one server enough for you it's enough it's enough cool then you are gonna sell it he's actually like one billion percent right but is it worth like a lot or a not lot on the main server but listen on this server while you're on it fuck it see if you can get somebody to pay like 300k 400k for it wait that's how much it's worth no it's dude. worth like 150 200 on the main server dude when but, the when the game first came out the red service was like yeah, like yeah. 600k, and people were buying it as 600k. All of them. Oh, I should it. have made my. I should have made mine red. I picked the brown color. I'm weird. I like the white one. I think it's cool. I bought mine though. 60k. Get at me, bro. So I put these here. Do I do anything? Um. Nope. They just collect. You could use booster. It looks like you might have a booster or something. Yep. Use three. You can also whale this, too. That's the funny thing. Like, you can actually whale every aspect of this game. I wouldn't, though. This is... Wait, a, this he's is a whale, thing. but... He's like a... He's like a, a behind whale. He's a baby whale. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. But he's really not a baby whale. Like, if he's gonna spend kind of what he said he wants to spend, that's... He's gonna spend more than I spent. You know and, you know the evolution of a whale? <laughs> is that a video? Or a... Yeah, it's no, it's like uh, it's like an actual thing, like how whales evolved. Like they were originally like were land animals and had like they look like dogs, like straight up. Um, they, is that the? I think they have a bone in their back body or something too. Yeah. Um, that's totally not worded correctly, but you know what I mean. I know what you're talking about. I do. I didn't. I don't know the evolution. Like I probably don't know it as well, but I do know what you mean. I love how much fun you're having just riding around. <laughs> All right, let's get you some progress, though. We got to get you through some of these raids. 
You don't need the gold because you're a whale. You're gonna buy the gold, really. So like, it doesn't the sets and all that crap doesn't matter. So you don't need to go to Vulcan and Vikas. Although you could do it for the free gold that you get from just the event, which would be kind of efficient. Um, but really, we gotta get now that I know where you're at. We gotta get your main characters pieces. So actually, really honestly, go look at the raids, and I'm gonna see if maybe I can just walk you through it. We'll see how okay. it goes. Um, these are the right engravings, right? Before I go in there. Yeah. Uh, get rid of heavy armor. Even if you are well, a I was told to use heavy armor instead you're new. of drops of aether. Oh, is that uh, what it was? Well, for? no, probably whoever told you that does value heavy armor or drops of aether. But if you... It was the Kalos Caligos. Kalos, that's fair. Yeah. He doesn't like drops because drops is kind of shit, but whatever, it's better than nothing. Um, also, you're actually a full swiftness uh, pally. Like, you could run uh, whatever it's called, max MP. But I personally think that you'd be better with the drops of aether. It's just my opinion. Um... If you're cracked out and you're having like mana issues, then yeah. One day. Hey, my <laughs> I'm gonna. So I'm waiting until we get his main up. to, uh, to like 1540, 1560, and then I'm gonna have him start buying gems. 1560. Yeah, because I think they, he, the event gems are gonna carry him to all the content that's up to that point as a support. So why, yeah. right? So it's not like crucial for him to get them until, until that point. So then start getting some eights and stuff. You know what I mean? Is the max level for these ten? Yeah. Yep. The jumps, so. Oh, okay. I wonder what the jump start level 10s are. I don't even think there's like one. Um, actually, <laughs> there probably is. I don't know. I'm taking my time with the jump start. Like, I only have like one character there. I'm going to wait in November and make a second character and just build it like slowly. I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. Oh, I need to check my cards, actually. Before you I do. That's amazing. Like the fact that you're remembering, you're remembering the fundamental stuff. The, fi the, the very basic things that do need to be remembered is stuff like that. Like Slime Island's coming up soon. You can go get free gems as well, technically. Um, but I, it, the value is not that crazy. It's not like... One level five? It, it is huge. Not for him though. Like Will. So I'm trying, I got to get him through raids. He needs his set. If he's going to get to the end game, he has to go get his set, unfortunately. And that's why that dude just... Has, he, has he done this. clown? No. Oh, shit. No, there's no way. Dude, new player. New player. <laughs> Working on Guardian Raids in 3X. Um, oh, he doesn't know, like, basic mechanics here, right? That's the way he does. He popped his some. I know, like, uh, well, yeah. I know some. <laughs> I know some. Well, that's why I'm thinking if, if, if we watch you do Brawl, right? Like, if, if you go do the Gate 2 Brawl, I can sit here and just kind of tell you what to do as you're doing it, and maybe you'll muscle memory learn it, like... That's what I'm hoping. Oh. Could be wrong. We might still. Do I need to get some more of these hand grenades? Hand grenades. For like bombs. Like whirlwinds, destructions. Yeah. For uh, Brel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll get a whirlwind. Whirlwind is good for uh, K2 and 3, bro. Yo. Sock bombs. Soft buns. Just farming and want to hang out somewhere. It seems like a nice place. It's not. It's really toxic, honestly. Fundamentally. I'm here, so it's not. Yeah, Bell bullies me. I was and watching your uh, episode two of the Lost Ark, or no, episode three of the Lost Ark thing, and you were falling asleep down there. Maybe I definitely two. was. Yeah. <laughs> if it made you sleepy, that makes you uh, empathetic, right? Because you can feel it, like the yawn concept. I, I think it was when you started talking about like actually doing story on six. Uh, oof. Still on. Oof. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I mean, I love leveling my roster, uh, but I, yeah. Don't want to do the first story ever again. I can't disagree with that. Did I tell I someone to do that? Time. Wait, that's horrible. No, 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 but you kind of leaned to the war chat and then you changed your mind because you realized how insane it was. Oh, no, I didn't want him to do the story. I just want to make multiple. He's still doing that, making multiple accounts. We were just talking about that. He's still doing that. 
It's just he's yeah, funneling he's it doing, into like, one. Fully like leveling roster and doing like the yeah. And yes. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Actually, because then I started to think I didn't notice that at first. First off, that's why. Because when I first said it, I saw the value out of the raids and the gold, and the efficiency of getting the account running. And then yeah, you you see like did you, I don't know if you see the clock turning in my head when I like yeah. realize I'm like wait a minute like this is a bad idea. <laughs> like, no, I started on a second roster and then. Like after a couple of hours, I was like, "Yeah, I can pay for this, right?" <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. No, that, that's not gonna happen again. I, I did. Oh, I did the story of what do you call it? Story pass on on my main roster just because it had something like select packs. Um, but I'm not doing another one. No, I, I don't think anybody select should. Packs, so I won't do it anyway. So uh, it gives only cards. It doesn't give select packs. I only do South Fern and on. I mean, yeah. story still has value. It's that thing we just talked about earlier. It's more time, more value. It's more value, but is it worth your time? Come on, like, um... Yeah. I regret doing it. I've never done this first. I've done Wait, 12... Like, you've never done any? 12 Rowan, 12 Elgacia. That's insane. 12 Elg... That's awesome. That's awesome. Why is it insane? That's amazing. That's I was about to say. That's determination. I was, about say, <laughs> I was about to say, like, in the jumpstart server, like, my character is 1540. I'm, like, debating on buying the Elgatia oh. pass, but I don't have to do the Elgatia story. But the rewards are nice. Also, the collectibles and stuff. I started straight away when. You can sell those. Up. The gold. I sold collectibles for. 40, 50k. Like yeah, Thursday. right. That's crazy. No, because it, it really was worth a lot. It always is. It always is. Even when Player Gear comes out, you know, I should make a video on that. Thanks for my next video. <laughs> make some quick gold. I'm, I'm waiting too, because I'm stuck. Kind of my roster is not really moving right now. I'm at 278, and I want to push it to 300. Uh, so I'm waiting for. Like, oh, roster two. level. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. 278. I'm at 257. Jeez. Jeez, they slow down a lot at these upper levels. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you don't have anything left to do, either. True. Cause... That's why you had to do all the old, like, the story. That's why you did stories yeah. and stuff, yeah. The towers and all characters. Oh, wait, I got a new one I haven't done towers on. That's what I'm doing now instead. Screw this. That's amazing. I love that. What do you get for the latter roster levels? What are you getting anymore? Like, do you still get... You can't get Bifrost keys. Probably stat potions. Do you get blue pistols? Yeah, in the end, you get some. I don't know. I don't do it for the rewards. I do it for the number. That's fair. You get the gold number eventually. Yeah. I just want to have 300 so I can check that box and, uh, you know, move on to the next thing, I guess. I feel that. Completionist mindset. Yeah. My girlfriend just uh, achieved my hunter, and she found a couple of other people on other servers. So she's right now lovely character on another server oh just it's to get an achievement <gasps> that's the no, coolest shit like i've heard the, uh, secret map with four of the same class uh, so she's oh that's like, smart dude. you could do that quick too. yeah and then he made a character on our server or whatever i'm not making it because you get characters so I'll fast yeah. that's a really good idea actually that's a really good idea because you could just have a group of friends and then you group up and do that, like... Yeah. But it has to be, cool. like, semi-crazy people that, no. you know... What do you mean? Achievement to... hunting was a thing back in the day. Well, you could, if you're all, all on the same server already, it's it's fine. I mean, you can do, like, cubes and chaos onions with the same class, four of them, and you get achievements and stuff like that. That's fun. Yeah. What sucks is there's certain ones that I don't think we can get anymore. Yeah. Like the uh, cube one. Yeah, to survive to wave 20 or whatever it was. 30. 20. Pretty sure it was 30. 30. Well, yeah. We tried it. It was fucking hard. Yeah. We were doing it before it was cool, but it didn't matter because we didn't get it. No, we couldn't we get it. Either. It was hard. Doing, that was like, really hard. Days. We found out later that there was a strategy for it and everything, too, and we were like, oh, that sucks because we probably could have got this done. You can't see an achievement that says basically be the most epic failure and then not wanna, not wanna yeah. fucking do it. 
Like, you had to fuck up, like, every gate and, like, over time, every gate just to get, like, even close to being able to do it. That was a fun one. You have to have people die and stuff as well. So. Yep. Yeah, and one person survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's tricky because there was, it like, was. survival things that were awful. That's, hands down, that's the hardest achievement in the game. Honestly, that was tough. That was really tough. And I'm lying. You right? always, which one? It was like the level 30 cube thing. You had to basically survive 30 floors of the cube, but you if you did good, you would always complete it in like 24 or 25. So you had to somehow suck enough to stretch it out. Oh. The yeah. trick was like three characters or something. You had to do not four, but not two, but three characters. You could never do the solo. Um, and it was like two people would die or something. And I, for, I forget all of the stuff, but it was we really were trying to do it. We were trying for a long time. It just... Yeah, it when was the so timer hard. Came, gave, uh, when the timer uh, ran out, you'd have to have sort of a kind of tanky guy left that wouldn't die from the... To the Phantom. Yeah. Yep. That was the coolest shit, though. Like, it really was. That's the part of gaming that's kind of dead sometimes. People don't have fun doing stuff like that. Yeah. I should be raiding, but I can't raid this late. That's half past 10 and I got work tomorrow so I gotta do stuff like the top oh you're Europe time yeah interesting you speak crazy good English thanks yeah like crazy good English <laughs> like I thought you were American actually I, or, or like from I, yep completely off guard <laughs> I cheated. I lived in uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, so that is the American accent. Like, because, dude, you do, like, I'm I like, wait a minute, talking. where is this, like... We're talking... A hundred percent. We're talking 35 plus years ago. Yeah, but it's the way you speak slow. It's the draw. <laughs> That's interesting. That is cool. calm. Yeah, calm. It's, it's, it's also, I was going to say that. I was going to say that they're actually usually the calmer people. Yankees are kind of in your face and loud. It's kind of our thing. You know what's a weird Yankee, though? Because you have Western Yankees nowadays, like Californians, and they're kind of like, they're us, but they're not us. Uh, they're kind of just strange. Strange is strange. That's it. Overbearing, classifying word, strange. All of them. You did make the game more enjoyable for me, by the way. Thanks, no, actually. actually. <laughs> that's, I'm so happy. No, that's really awesome, actually. That makes me cheese and really happy. But I can't believe that was so fucking... <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Well, I was so stressed out and confused about which characters to play, and you kind of just, you know, made me see what I wanted to do. Yeah, and that's the best part. I was just saying that to Andy. Like, I didn't really need to give you the advice. You just kind of had to see it. That's it. I, I, I used to say to this thing to the players I was helping a long time ago, like the earlier players who actually I don't really talk to as much anymore, which is weird, but maybe they don't need me anymore. That might be a good thing. Um, but they, what's well, not a good thing for me, but it's a good thing overall. Um, birds know how to fly south for the winter. Like you, if you know what you want out of something, you kind of know how to get there. It's just people get stuck in the static and they kind of like, they forget how to do what they've already done, if that makes sense. And that's true of real life and the video game. It's like I was annoyed that I didn't have a place to put my gold, like to, to save it, because if I have gold, I just use it all the time. But I figured out. Oh, your plan was it. the Esther weapon plan, though, too, if I remember correctly. Yours is the fucking. No. Yours no, is no, no, the, no. the challenge. No, I, we, of champions. Uh, we, friend, we, leveled, <laughs> we leveled up our Esther weapon once, and then uh, realized that you didn't get any cool achievements for doing it until you get to, like, level 6. So we were like, okay, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Well, that's why you should wait. Like, that's not something you do. Because we had these things that came out a long time ago that talked about how there was no value in doing it too soon because your level 20 Akan weapon would be stronger or something like that, or I forget, like, what it was. But it was basically saying if you can't get 6 or higher, it's not worth it. Um, no. Uh, so, I don't think it's... I mean, it's barely better than the 25 Akan. Or yeah. Even. So something like that. Like, I didn't remember what the metric was, but with that metric in mind, no. Anything you put towards it now is a waste. But what I did, instead of having a bank, is I bought a shit ton of Arias. 
because then I can't home because I don't have any gold. But the next time I get gold, I'll have the Oreos as well. Okay. Yeah. So like, that makes me able to save gold, kind of. It uses Oreos for it. That's brutal. Okay, I'm going to need them anyway. So. No, exactly. That's that RuneScape concept. Like, why I would invest in things like Chinchampas and stuff is because even if I if I was going for a 70, if I was going for my 99 range or whatever it was in range anyways, then why I'll buy something that even if it crashes, I can still use it, and then it's just paid XP. I paid a premium for something. Do you know what I mean? So it's the same concept, 100%. And also, if I were to buy gold, I could tap for that and have the Oreos already. But if I tap for the gold I actually earn, 